Hello everybody, Multiman37, back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Dino Saber from Power Rangers Dino Charge. This is the side, the bladed sidearm that each of the Rangers have access to. And of course it comes with another Dino Charger, this one is the Velociraptor Charger. So... Take a look at the box, and then we'll take a look at the charger, then the sword. Make sure this is off. There we go. So yeah, same thing. I had to have something holding this down, which is why the Super Mega Sub is holding this down, because otherwise, if that wasn't there, this thing would be tumbling. On the front of the box, we have, you know, there's Dino Charger Red Ranger, Deluxe Dino Saber, where the charger used to be side it has red ranger holding the sword uh... there's the sword again the app bottoms a bunch of nothing but back has a cool shot and combination of the weapon yeah. speaking of weapon i really need to no don't do that don't do that don't do that touch up the paint on the back of this because I touched up the paint earlier before I started recording but I yeah but either way the charger it comes with is number four the velociraptor charger which actually kinda makes sense because Green Ranger's main weapon is a sword so I do like how they went for that so here it is you know you got the green right here number four uh... the logo that says Velociraptor on the back yeah there it is but we can also put it in the Dino Charge Morpher to become the Green Ranger oh yeah by the way you do also get the uh, animation. The four slides of it, of course. So anyway. Oh yeah, by the way, QR code right there too. Let me. And then the pin system on the back. So anyway. Energize. Energize. Unleash the power! Unleash the power! Velociraptor! Power Ranger! Green! So now we're the Green Ranger. Nothing changes here. And again, that's all that will come out of this. So I'm gonna take out the charger for now. Because I'm gonna need it later. So here we have the sword, um, the Dino Saber. Uh, I did customize it uh, by painting it here and here, which was never originally painted. That's the only, that's around, oh yeah, and then the vent here wasn't painted, and why is that focused? That's better. But it is a lot longer than the Gabri Caliber, which I'll show off later in my Gabri Caliber, Caliber review. <clears throat> and of course it does have a T-Rex's head molded on this. You do get the button here to fold it in. The button here to fold it in for gun mode, or the cannon mode. But for whatever reason on the box, it shows you having it like that. I it does look cool for the bayonet, and they do do it in the show, but you're supposed to have it like that. Because they did it in the Japanese series, and then the only person that did it like that was Kyori Violet. So yeah. Of course, that is where you load in your charger, which you can remove by two ways. There's an opening on the back, which when you put the charger in... You can just push it out with your finger, or you can just hit the button on the other side. Either way, you'll get it out. So let's turn this thing on, and just like the Super Mega Saber, 
the light is in the blade. So you get some sword slashing. So not much there. However, when we put in a charger, it doesn't read the charger. Uh, it just hits a button. So when we insert this. So you get that little attack sound. A little weak, though. Of course you think. So yeah. Let's try that again. Why not? So yeah, this thing is actually longer, in a sense, but not by much. It does feel more sleeker than the Gabbery Caliber, the Gabbery Caliber, and it does feel more streamlined. Uh, which is pretty good in a, in that sense. Yeah, you also get the green and red eye, the yellowish, the greenish yellow paint right there. This part was not painted. I'll probably fix that later. But you can also combine this with the Dino Charge Morpher. For the, I think it's called the Dino Cannon. I don't remember what it's called. I'll put it up in the annotation when I find out the name for this thing, but we attach it together, you get that sound effect, and then when you hit the button, oh yeah, that wasn't painted either, you can see like two little gun barrels, and the funny thing is, the mouth on the, on the uh, blade now has a, a different lower jaw, which is this part right here. So yeah, it has a, a bigger mouth now, but uh, it, it'll be more prominent when I show the Japanese toy off. Um, so you get the... And then of course you can spin the chamber to do your final attack, which is something the Japanese version did not do. And this is a decent size, like I can hold this with both hands, and yet I don't feel stressed out to hold it with one. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the Dino, uh, the Dino, the Dino Saber, I almost said Dino Blade. It is a good substitute, in fact it's a lot more sleeker and streamlined than the Gabbery Caliber really, but I got the Gal Gabbery Caliber because I like the Gabbery Cannon, but really it's all up to you which one you want. Um, I would say go for the, uh, the Gabbery Caliber because while it was bulky it still had, you know, better sound effects. And yeah, these had to be changed for the show, but it just felt better. I don't know why, but it did. Uh, the sa the saber, on the other hand, it's not that bad if you want to have it by itself. In fact, I also display it like this when it's like not doing anything else. So yeah. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Take care.